Okay, back again with another- Oh, con uh, continuous upload jump scare and, uh, it definitely feels like one because Holy shit, if shit wasn't fucked before. Oh boy. Oh yeah, so just, uh, check jumps, out. Getting jump scared by information now. Yeah, because, uh, spoiler alert everyone, if you haven't been following along, uh, Date isn't even Date. And also, in breaking news, shit's fucked, yo. Let's get her. Keep talking. Picture. Yeah. Sorry, but time's up. I want my body Ta back. It's quite simple. No. Sink no. with me and stay inside my mind for more than six minutes. And if I refuse? <laughs> I know that you won't. I know it. Huh? And what do you think? No, that it. Is? Date, huh? Look. Uh -oh. This is streaming oh, no. live. <gasps> you bastard! And that's where he told me that. Damn you! If you give me back my body, I will give you the location. Oh, and of course, it isn't the chemical plant in the Kawasaki district. Iba, where's the source? It is being routed through numerous IPs. I cannot identify the source. Computer. Oh shit, we can't hide our way now. out of this. No. Got it. Now, what will you do? That's a good will question. Will you agree to my request? I mean... He gets to have oh. our... Four, what? Our 30, 40 year old body? And then we get to be in the hot body of a lady? Isn't, uh, isn't boss also like 40 or something? Yes, but she has she's got that uh that thirties look. Oh, I don't know, oh I'd say it's a better trade-off, honestly. Right, but um at least on the plus side, uh Dante will know what it's like to have boobs now. Yeah. Although it will be weird when he shows up at the club to ask for Reka in Boss's body. Maybe. Yeah, well, like, what if people recognize her there, and then they're like, Oh, I didn't know you swung that way. Yeah, uh, be, uh she would never see those, uh, those boys at the whole club. Oh my god, it's so sad. Boss will never see the boys at the club anymore. Or those pop idols. Yeah, because Dante, who would now be in the, like, in the driver's seat, would just find that a little awkward. Yeah. All right, so uh, a smile of mo of mocking ridicule is on her face. Uh, please tell me you're bluffing. Uh... Wait, is this another branch here? No, this is the end. Yeah, like uh, I said before. Fuck it, let's do it. All right. Dante. See. I knew you wouldn't refuse. I know you well. Don't I, Date? No, you don't. You just know this body. I mean, or... Police headquarters, Tuesday, 4, 28 a.m. We're eight minutes past 4.20. You know, that's how you know it's bad. Oh, hey, we need to have to go through a Somnium and... Oh, shit. <laughs> Best part is you don't have to oh, no. change the voice actor. I did it. I'm back. I got it all back. Hey, where's Hitomi? All right. I'll tell you as promised. Iba, get out of there! Boss's house. However, it might be too late by now. Oh no. What? <gasps> no! Yeah. Why? Return my body and I'll tell you the location. That's what I said. I didn't lie. 
I kept my promise. You sure did. You bastard! <laughs> You're the one who about it. injured that uh, body. Oh, fuck. It's your own fault, really. Damn it. Be seeing you. Iba, get. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Let's go, Iba. Thank you for coming in clutch, Iba. For real. Date, That's the are you all right? I knew we could count on our precious little gremlin. Iba's voice barely resonated. My eyesight was hazy. A heap of broken images. Guess we're not used to having two real eyes this time. Yeah, Sweat was again. building up on my palms. I felt like my throat was closing up. I was struggling for breath. In my ears... The rushing blood of my heartbeat was the only that sound. Peter, where the fuck are you? Everyone's dead. Shoko, Renju, Iris, Oda, Hitomi, Boss. The flesh remains, but the mind is lost. I couldn't do anything. Saito had me right where he wanted me. Nothing. Nothing. Parallel worlds exist. The words suddenly echoed in my head. I can't remember who or where or why. But I thought if that but I thought there really was such a world. And me, in that world, I is another. Could I have had a better future? Yep, it looks like those words are starting to make more sense now. I prayed that I could. I felt my consciousness seek into the black abyss. I've a, I've a help, help. I don't want to go to bed just yet. I'm a I'm The end. You're that was the bad ending. Yeah. Honestly, like for real, this ending is like one of my top favorite endings in this and the second game because Everybody just fucking dies and we lose. I, I can't remember of any other game that just gives you like that bad of an ending. Well, shit. I, yeah, that definitely did suck. But yeah, literally the only thing we had left was Iba and Pewter. Annihilation route. And... Oh, it ended all right. And I'm guessing we died too. Kind of. No, we just sustained heavy injuries, but I think we're still alive. I'm gonna rotate the saves here. But yeah, regardless, uh, shit's the most fucked it's been in this game because, uh, yeah, literally everyone's dead. I mean, boss is body is technically alive, but we're the ones in the driver's seat. The only one that actually is still alive out of all of our friends, like all of our proper friends, is uh, Mizuki. And Mama and Pewter. And, of course, Aiba. Yeah. So now... We can continue to the very end. Okay. Wait, there's no more Somniums for this part route, are there? Technically, yes, but no. So, in the boss's Somnium... Okay. Date witnessed the new Cyclops serial killings, a bizarre twisted cycle in which the killer became the next victim. The person in Boss's mind was So's son, Saito. He was discovered that he was a new Cyclops killer. Date also discovered that his body originally belonged to Saito. Saito demanded his body back, using a bomb strapped to Hitomi as leverage. The body exchange occurred, and Saito, back in his original body, detonated the bomb on Hitomi while Date was in Boss watched helplessly. 
Date's consciousness allowed him a few or a few words before vanishing completely. Wait, so what would happen if we chose not to help Saito? Honestly, we could just like uh, bite the dust and King Crimson all our way there if we want to. It'd be right here, probably. Okay, let's try it. See what happens. Sure. And that's the fun about oh, the flowchart. It's going back to make a slightly different change. Wait, no, we're still here. Whoops, wrong one. A little too far. Okay, yeah, you just, uh, just gonna go, go through all this pain again. Alright. No. Whoops, wrong one. Well, we'll get to that. But first, let's go one step before back. Before the so before the sink room. Yes, right here. I think when I did this myself, I originally like also did the same thing. Ah, we gotta go through all this now. Ah, uh, oh, it's right the like literally what where we left off before. Yep, just one fat figured out about how the prototype works. Yeah, and we have to wait for some of this to load up before we can actually, like, try and King Crimson our way out of this. But yeah, if you have any questions as to how we got here, free, feel free to ask while I uh, just try to King Crimson our way out of this. Hey. Oh, so thanks a lot, Pewter. You got rid of our original body. Wait, yeah, our original body you? was locked up in jail with Rohan sitting inside of it. Wait, does he know that's our original body? Rohan? No, does Pewter know that 89 is supposed to be our original body? Yeah, I, I think it's safe to say that both him and Boss know. Especially Boss. Oh. I guess the only reason why he's back inside is because uh, it's Rohan who's in the driver's seat. Yep. Just been sitting in the parking lot this whole time. Occasionally getting a visit from Hitomi. And here we go. Okay, yeah, here we are. Now then, moment of truth. You know what? Nah. Fuck you, I'm not doing it. I'm hurt. We'll sh sh cry about it. Don't you care about what happens to her? I already saw what happens if you- No! Do you understand the gravity of this situation? A bomb is strapped to her body. That's oh, Photoshop. No. You're too stubborn. Or maybe you're just cold-hearted. Straw man argument. You want to see what will happen? Maybe I do. Flesh burns and tears and scatters. Show me some fireworks. That's it. That'll just be CGI. You, the whole thing. you know I'm not bluffing, don't you? Uh, a straw man argument. I didn't agree. No matter how many times he demanded it off off of me, I refused again and again. God damn it! Yeah, I know, this is not gonna change. This is called the Annihilation Route. And when I saw it, I understood. Boss's body rolled into the corner of the room. I didn't want to think of it anymore. Or I didn't want it anything. Nothing. I closed my eyes and ran the palm across my face. I could taste blood. Bad end. Bad end. Just a bad end. Gee, so it's a, just a lose-lose situation here. And that's why it's called the Annihilation Route. A fa one of my favorite endings. Not oh. safe. One of my favorite endings because there's nothing you can do. You, you lose. Literally. Okay, so... Not only do you not win, you're not going to win. 
just can't get our way out. I Iba can't deus ex machina our way out of this, but what just happened there? Because, like, Hitomi's dead, and, uh, as for Date, uh, what, what just happened? Da uh, Date just, like, I don't know, he probably just, like, bit either his hand or his lip that and tasted blood, and then, uh, well, Saito, unless we injured Boss's body that severely with the, uh, the powder bombing, uh, he either passed out or is actually just somehow dead now. The damage is, was just that bad. Despite the fact that the damage was, like, only her shoulder and her leg. Well, I mean, we... I guess we took him with us, so... Uh... Great. So, uh, Mizuki's going but, to need to go to a new school now. Yeah, so, uh, but still, even though we did take him out, uh, that, that still doesn't fix anything. We still pretty much lost everything. Mm, oh, I can't. Okay, ah, whatever. I wanted to try and get to the thing, but okay. let's, uh, wait. Ah, let's continue the investigation. And I'm guessing the closest thing to the good ending so far was the ending of Mizuki's route. Yes. But the killer was still around. Wait. Oh. Day six. Wednesday. So is I. So, last time on Dragon Ball Z, we got knocked the fuck out. Again. In the abandoned factory at Wednesday at 12.55 a.m. Uh, oh, yeah, it's been a very, very long time since this happened, but, yeah, um... Yeah, just about a week. You're awake. Okay, now even a week, like a couple days. Oh. Damn it! I don't think you can release yourself. And we're stuck. We'll do something about it. Oh, hey, look, what is that... it you expect me to do? Come out of my eye socket and get this off of me! I cannot. Why not? You can't? What? My body has short-circuited. Well, shit. It must have been the electric currents from earlier. Gah. But fortunately, my communication functions are still operational. I attempted to reach HQ and Abyss personnel for support. And? No response. They ignored you? What the fuck? There must be pressure from the higher-ups. Likely a result of Congressman Sejima's interference. God damn it, so. Mm. He thinks I'm investigating Monica's case. So that I'm going to assume is. that uh, at this point in time, uh, Saito's in his dad's body. Where That's what I'm this, guessing, at least. Where did this go again in the flow chart? Because he's obviously not in Renji's body. He bodied hopped in somebody nope. else's body. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, profile update. We got Saito. Oh yeah, now. Saito, there he is. And that's what he really looks Sa like. Oh yep, yeah, definitely getting the catchy vibes from here. My but with no pancakes. Anyway, Saito. Name Saito Sejima. Sex male age thirty. Birthday March first. Profession, NPO representative, likes fireworks, dislikes humans. Well, then why are you one? You ever think about that? Hmm. Not for Skill long. Skill issue on your end, probably. Hobbies, murder. Moida. Skills, stabbing, strangling, killing, and shooting. You name it, hmm, I can kill guy. it. This guy must be the life of the party, then. I'm surprised he is an assassin. Overview. Saito is Sosajima's son. His mother died giving birth to him, born with a brain dysfunction that left him unable to properly secrete oxytocin. He can only feel pleasure from murder. Murder. Wait, ha how about Date? Did his change? Nah. Otherwise, I would have had a little sticky note, too. It's still oh, pretty much okay. the same. And Anything? same age, but a different birthday. Yeah. August 30... Probably okay, his old birthday, or the day we found, or he was found by Boss. 
Probably the latter. Collects. All right. Anyway, uh, let's check on the 89 now, just to see how that's different. Oh, that's still the same. Okay. We don't nothing yep. about it. Our original body. Okay, name unknown. Oh, sex, oh, uh, sex, male, age, early 40s. Birthday unknown, profession unknown, likes unknown, likes unknown, or dislikes unknown, hobbies unknown, skills unknown. Overview. The mysterious inmate currently serving a life sentence at Fuchu Prison for murder. Known only as 89. And who's behind the wheel? Why, none other than... Rohan. Rohan. Sex male, age 53, deceased, January 11th, uh, or I mean 18th as the birthday. Okay. Likes guns, drugs, money, women, power, etc., etc. Dislikes betrayal, rival gangs, and cops. Hobbies, politics, invest investment fraud, organ trading, and land speculation. Uh, skills, torture. Rohan used to be the leader of the Komakura gang. One year ago, he committed suicide by jumping from the roof of a building. A.K.A. Shoko committed suicide by jumping from the roof of the building. Yep. In his body. Mm hmm He was known for his horrific torture techniques of peeling his victim's skin from toe to thigh. Yes. Ugh. F -f Potato peeler, specifically. All right, we got new images. I think. No, these are not. This is the images. Hey, Amoma, did you hear what happened to your dad? Did this happen to your dad? <laughs> and then art reference for a uh, boss. That's a good thumbnail. Nice. Uh, what a nice young, or uh, what a nice mature lady. I hope no one steals her body and pretends to be her. Yep, just hate to be a victim of body snatching. Identity theft is no joke. No, it is Sir not. Even worse when someone literally steals your actual body and tosses you in the trash that they don't want. Or just like leaves you out in the rain like this. Literally, it's raining inside. The, the, there, is, there, there is no like roofing up here on this particular spot. Is this under the machine? Is this bad for the machine? Uh, I was about to say, isn't this going to damage the sink machine? Yeah, how long is it? With all this rain? I forget, I forget even how long this machine was even in this warehouse for. And considering if it's been here for like years, uh, well, I guess he never put a tarp over. that will be slightly under six years or something, or... Yeah, but... Yeah, like, I'm surprised the thing still works with all this rain it's been getting. Yeah. Anyway... That is likely why Pewter is attempting to delete my data. Are you okay? For now. Oh yeah, that's out. Oh yeah, I forgot. The final layer of ice. They will destroy me. Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, Pewter Jesus. is not our bro in this one. He is not. In fact, our bro. What? Who? Who? What? Speaking of not our bro. You. Yes. Me. You're. Saito Sajima. Oh, so you figured it out. Wrenches oh, so he's an 89's body. Yes. Without his left eye. You were inside Renju, weren't you? Until just now? So that just leaves the question. Where is Rohan? Hmm. Hey, Rohan Robert? was sitting in this. So I'm guessing Rohan is now dead for real now. Mm. Yeah, probably. Or maybe. Yeah, so I'm guessing uh, Saito probably went in a different order for body snatching. In no. this route, at least. Well, yes, or this because we, uh, because we stopped, we, uh, we, uh, Iris successfully ran away from the body snatched Renju. And then, oh, Renju got caught okay. in an accident. And then he called for a pewter to help him out by bailing 89 out. Okay, yeah, it's been, it's been a while since we did this one. 
And 89 had Rohan in the body. So when 89 and Renju met, Renju being a, a Saito in this body, they swap bodies against Rohan's will. And look where he's at now. Back in Renju's body and... Or back in the empty shell, which used to be Renju's body and is now dead for real. Renju's body, who was already in critical condition. And after being doped up, just uh, bled out, I guess. Oh, okay, so... And now here he is. You used the machine to exchange minds, then got rid of his body. Close, but you're a little off. I didn't get rid of the body. He died of natural causes. But what it, yeah. interests me more is you. How do you know you can use the sink machine to exchange minds? The way you're talking makes me think you know why I took out his left eye. But how? How do I know that? Why do I know that? Iris chimes in parallel worlds. Why do I know about Saito, the prototype machine, uh, changing personalities? Parallel the world. Current. Did it unlock your memories? Oh yeah, that too. Then tell me. Yeah, from another this timeline. This body was originally mine. Mine. That means your body. This is your body. Is yours. Isn't it Saito? The words came out so easily. So the reason why we actually really know is because memories from six years ago. Yes, uh, but in terms of gameplay, it's because of what we just did. I yes. don't know why. But in a moment of harsh realization, I knew. 89's body is mine. And my body is Saito's. Well, if you know that much, then this should be easy. Give me back my body. How about no, you crazy-ass bag of nuts? Well, I mean, we'd be getting our original body back. Hey, how about a little help here? What are you doing? I'm trying to get some extra bodies to help me. What do you think I'm doing, you idiot? Yeah, calling for backup because Abyss clearly isn't coming for me. Yeah, this guy has much help. Can't do anything I like I can't this. do anything like... Okay. <laughs> okay. Bookshelf. There are lots of books. I wonder if we can have some extra knowledge to help us out. Yeah, Iba, is there uh, any particular reading material in there? Iba? Don't you ignore me. Ah, uh, nothing in the locker. Especially not pewter. This time. Shelf B. I see lots of stuff. Oh. Chemical bottles. Bottle of chemicals. A metal shelf. Okay, I, this time technical difficulties. My mic cut off. But let's pick up from where we're at with uh, looking at other stuff. <laughs> Yeah, staring at the man in the mirror. Oh. Wait, how do I know it's a manual? Probably the prototype sink machine manual. I'm surprised that hasn't been turned into mulch either with all this rain. All right. Reggie. Ren I don't believe I don't it. believe it. Nope, still can't I believe it's butter. I mean, Reggie. Reggie. Or yeah, Rohan. What are we talking I can't believe TV? it's not. The CRT monitor. There's nothing on the screen. Damn, the one time. Alright. Uh -huh. Oh, a crane. Crane. An overhead crane. And nothing else. Uh -huh. uh, ah, yes. The operating crane. It looks like an operating table. One that you would operate on, even. Oh. Anyway, let's speak to... Uh, us. Yeah. Saito. Yes, Saito. Not it. Where are Iris and the Tomy? 
Don't worry, I haven't killed them yet. And I should believe you, why? Yet. The brain you are currently occupying has an interesting quirk. It releases a flood of dopamine and endorphins when it kills. I thought I'd take that brain back before killing those two. In front of you, of course. Which is why I haven't killed them yet. Such beautiful eyes. Okay, don't do that with my I body. I was going to begin this. Oi, hey, hey. I think I've changed my mind. I want to see you mad. But what will really set you off? If you don't shut your mouth right now. All right, talking it is. What should I say? Do you have any questions for me? Oh boy, where to begin? It's early Wednesday morning, just like it is now. Uh, yeah. Shoko was killed last Friday. It's actually around that time now, actually. The same Wednesday. Just like I said, that was day one, which makes today day six. For five days. What was Saito up to? I decided to ask him what he did every day until now. Okay, see how things played out differently. Okay, day one. Let's go back in order this time. Yeah. Saito explained what he did on Friday. At 4 a.m., Saito began his plan against Shoko. He called Renju to his abandoned factory and switched bodies with him. Now we know how that turned out. Mm, yep. After taking Renju's body, Saito killed Shoko. Then brought the body to Bloom Park. But as he explained it to me, I somehow felt that I already knew. I didn't understand why. Parallel worlds! I felt like it was beginning. It was being etched into my brain. Okay, why was Shoko's phone in the horse? Oh, right. I put that there. And you did it. When I was Why? fixing Shoko's body on the horse, her phone fell out of her clothes. I forgot that I had given her one. I didn't want to take it with me, and I didn't want to toss it away. So. I decided to push it into the mouth of the horse. And toss it away that way. Mm. Nice going, genius. The Marigold genius. Horse's mouth was hollow, which allowed the phone to fall down into its body. Okay. Anything else? Uh, okay. Day two, Saturday. I was still in Renju's body. My next target was Iris. What? If I asked her to come to the abandoned factory, I knew she would be skeptical, so I called her to Sunfish Pocket. And here's where we begin to diverge. Her, but for some reason, she said no. This was around 5 p.m. I was still Renju, the president of Lemniske. I didn't think I would have any trouble getting her to trust me, but... Dante, do you remember? What was the key difference? Saturday evening after sinking with Mizuki. Inside the Somnium, you thought you saw Iris's body, so you called her. The time was 4.52 p.m., right before Renju called Iris. You told her. Okay, don't go anywhere. Lock the door and stay at home. Hey, we did Iris good there. Accept Saito's proposition because of your warning. If you did well, not warn her, she would have oh. been taken here. So nice to know that Iris is still I Iris in this timeline. In car. Yeah. I thought that if she saw me in person, she would trust me. However, you got in an accident around 6:10 p.m. and lost consciousness. <sighs> so unlucky. My plans were ruined, but my ultimate goal is still achievable, so it's all good. 
Drunk Sunday. Brian saved the day. After the accident, my body was taken to Rage Central Hospital. Rage against big sobriety. <laughs> I regained consciousness just past 12 a.m. Sunday. The surgery was a success, but Renju's organs were in a horrible state. But I had somewhere to be. I left the hospital, rented a car, and headed to Iris's house. I know what happened after that. You got to the Sagan household at 2 a.m. You pushed the intercom button. He was sweating buckets and he came up to me with this begging look in his eyes. He said, come with me. You got Iris to come with you. But when you tried to bring her here... I got mm. scared. I pulled my hand away and ran. He avoided it twice. Oh, you know that too? But you're exactly right. I was planning to put her to sleep in the car, but I didn't have my drugs on me. The sleeping oh, pills were inside there. Renju's crushed car. I was pushing my luck. My plan and my body were both in shambles. I'm sure the painkillers were affecting me as well. My mind was scrambled and I couldn't think straight. I couldn't chase after her. I needed to sleep. I managed to make it back here and collapsed on the ground. Next thing I knew, it was the next day. I woke up around noon on Monday. Renju's body was about to expire. Uh, and Monday, with your last uh, by Monday, bit Renju's of life. body was almost completely dead. And of course, my consciousness as well. That's when I got a call from a Mr. Amanoma. And Amanoma, the man you call Pewter. Pewter. Yep. I knew the story after that. The boss told me that number 89 was coming. Then, Renju asked, Is there any way we can let number 89 escape? Uh, yeah, because Rohan was still in there. So Pewter came up with a plan to help 89 escape. Rohan, as 89, got into the car with Saito, as Renju, and fled from the police. Why did you want 89 to escape? When I heard that number 89 was coming to Abyss HQ, I came up with a plan. Iris trusts this number 89, this body. I thought I could use it to get to her. And there was another reason. I planned on eventually switching bodies with you. You and I would get our original bodies back. And after I do that, I will kill Iris and Hitomi. In front of you, while you're in this body. Oh. A rather nice plan if I do say so myself. Oh, that's bad. That's why I asked Pewter to help number 89 escape. I wanted this body at all costs. What happened after you escaped with 89 in the car? I brought Rohan, who was inside number 89's body, to the abandoned factory. Rohan was my partner in the Cyclops serial killings six years ago. So naturally, we had a lot to talk about. But I didn't have much time left. Not to sound like a broken record, but Renju's body was almost done. It was completely useless at this point. So, I put Rohan to sleep and began the sink. As a result, this happened. Renju. It's just like I told you. He died of natural causes. Oh. Our body has Renju's eyeball in it now. I just realized that. Uh, you mean... So, you mean Date's original body which Saito has in there? It's Renju's eyes in it? Yes, our OG body currently has our buddy's eyeball in it. Uh, so, Renju is inside of us. 
Oh god, don't take that out of context. <laughs> Freezing there. Freezing! Alright. Oh, we're about the shooting on Monday. Just mercy. Oh yeah, those hired. guys. After I woke up Monday, I arranged the hit. They were expensive, but I had access to Renju's bank account. I paid them with his money. <laughs> of course, my intention was only to kidnap Iris. But after I got this body, I didn't really need them anymore. But they had already been paid good money, so... I decided to leave the arrangements as they were. And then... Pewter. I told him about Iris and hiring the assassins. I told him he could use them for whatever he needed. And he acted on his own without consulting me. And day five? I called Iris about 24 hours ago. Tuesday at 1.40 a.m., I started a video chat with Iris. Long time no see. I'm sorry to call you out of the blue like this, but I need to see you. Iris got so excited that she dropped her guard. I told her where to meet, and she agreed right away. It was all according to plan. I knew that if I looked like him, she would do anything. Yeah, see, Iris, this is why I say don't talk to strangers, but then again, this makes it even harder considering that he has a familiar face. I've been looking face. for him for six years. I see. That is why Iris left Matsushita Diner. After we denied her her crazy conspiracy theories. So the mm. yeah, person she trusts most. You, Date. Number 89's current body was originally yours. After Iris got into the car, I put her to sleep. I restrained her and called Hitomi. I have your daughter. Don't call the police or she dies. I used Iris to reel in Hitomi. And you. Thanks for being so cooperative. But oh, you shit. did drag your feet. Uh oh, we left what? Hitomi outside. Oh no! And we got knocked oh, out. Oh no! I was oh no. tired of waiting. About Monica's murder 18 years ago. When he was literally 12 years old. So, explain to us. What the fuck? I was yeah, only what 12. Were you? Yeah, but that's... I remember it vividly. Of course you do. Well, show the class. On that day, 18 years ago, I heard my dad on the phone. I'm going to see Monica. I followed him. I Your got into a taxi and followed my dad's car. He went to the Harbor Warehouse District. So they were just Again, having a nice... so really... Yeah. Oh. Again, so must really... Aged like milk or fine wine, I don't know, because he looks exactly the same. He's a Dracula. That's the only explanation. They were having such a nice conversation, too. And then his son just shows up to be a dick. To his stepmom. Yeah, he didn't like that idea. It was never gonna happen. And he was gonna make sure it was never gonna happen. So, this technically happened because... Because you don't like your stepmom. Well, let's see if that's the reason. I've only ever been happy when I was killing something. Before Monica, I would kill cats and pigeons. It was the only way I could feel happiness. So he was that the kind of kid. The only way I could feel anything. Oh, obviously. The one where all the red flags like are crimson. I eventually grew a tolerance to it. A burgundy, even. Next. I'll kill a human. That's when I found out about Monica. 
That woman took my dad from me. And she stole all the happiness from my house. So I chose her as a target. I was born with a brain disorder. I can't secrete oxytocin from my pituitary gland. And I didn't have a mother. Not a real one, I mean. My mom died giving birth to me. So, naturally, my emotions toward my dad were... complicated. Sometimes, I think, if I didn't kill Monica, would things be different? Maybe the murder six years ago never would have happened. Me, you, Rohan. Maybe none of us would have gotten mixed up in this. Maybe. And maybe Shoko Nodami never would have gotten killed. Isn't destiny a curious thing? One mistake can change so many lives. Yeah, and so many lives have been changed already these past few timelines. Oh, yeah. Thank thanks for that, by the way. Multiple of them were of Iris. Anyway, oh. let's see what the rest see. Sorry, I don't have anything else to say to you. And even I'm growing tired of seeing that twisted, angry face of yours. So, shall we get started? Give me my body back. <laughs> 